Evening, everyone. A Bengals loss on Sunday, yeah, that we're used to. What we're not used to is feeling like this, like there's something much larger at work here. Marvin Lewis said he would fix it, and yesterday he did, and for the first time in a long time, next Sunday can't come soon enough for the orange and black. That was an NFL football game, and it goes back and forth. And, um, and that, was, that was, you know, the guys, they felt the atmosphere. They, they loved that. We need to have that atmosphere this week uh, because this is a special week. We almost snuck it out of there, almost stole one from them. And, and uh, so there's confidence there, and there's confidence for, you know, Peter Warwick and, and our running game, our offensive line up front and how they played and how you know, they were able to push those guys around. And, uh, you know, we got a couple other pieces of the puzzle that we'll get up to speed and we'll be rolling. Monday night at Rick's Tavern at Fairfield's Bengals line 9, 1360 home with the fans. Out tonight to hear Chad Johnson, John Thornton, Furman and Lapp and myself talk about renewed hope in the jungle and fans, well, they believe again. I mean, it's real simple, Marvin, we trust, you know what I mean? I trust him, Marvin, with what he's doing and what he's bringing in. But like they said, Ron wasn't built overnight. They, they did show a lot of improvement. They dominated the whole game and just bad, bad mishap, that's it. Game sold out. We'll show it right here on Channel 12 Sunday. Bengals Steelers, 1 o'clock from Paul Brown Stadium. I'm excited, Bob Kitt. You're excited, aren't you? Yeah, yeah oh, don't forget. I'll have the radio call at 1360 over at 90. We've got to quit having all the people uh, giving their tickets away to those people from, from, uh, from up the river. You know what I'm saying? So we've got to give a challenge to our fans uh, to come out this week in and, and, and their orange and black and keep the people in the, uh, the uh, yellow and black out of the stadium. And, uh, and that's the challenge. Nice thing the Bengals are at home this week, so I'm in town on Friday, and that means back to the Skyline game of the week. Evening, everyone. Joey Porter practiced for the first time with the Steelers since being shot in the behind. He's going to play on Sunday, and the Steelers' rushing offense, non-existent. But with Tommy Maddox, they have gone past happy to become the top offense in the NFL. After two games, Steelers receivers Heinz Ward and Plexico Burris first and second in the AFC with 237 and 231 receiving yards respectively. Is this Bengals pass defense up to the task? Well, they've gone from worst to first. Last season, opposing quarterbacks had an NFL high passing rating of 99.9, and Cincinnati allowed more touchdown passes, 30, than any team. But neither Jake Plummer nor Rich Gannon could throw a touchdown pass in the first two games, and the pair combined for a passer rating of 34.9 against the Bengals, the lowest permitted by any NFL defense. Against a taller receiver and guys are physical uh, like Plexico, you, you got to know that you got to be aggressive to the football. And uh, you got to know because if you don't, he's going to push you, and he is. And uh, so um, you got to go take your shots, be, be aggressive to the ball, be aggressive with your hands, and, um, and see what happens. Let him know that you're there no matter what. So that if that, that indecision gets in his mind just a little bit, you know, he may want to think twice about sticking those arms out to catch the ball one time coming across the middle. So, yeah, we got to be more aggressive in that respect. We'll show the big game right here on Channel 12. Bengals Steelers, 1 o'clock Sunday from Paul Brown Stadium. Don't forget, I'll have the radio call on Homer and the Fox. Oh, I saw Corey Dillon outside his home on Monday. He told me his hyperextended knee would not keep him out of Sunday's showdown against the Steelers. And today, he returned to practice. But cornerback Torrey James didn't work out, nursing a virus. The Bengals are 0-2, but last Sunday's near win put some swagger in their step. Playing against Oakland the way we just played, let us know we can play against anybody in this league. And go up and down the field, throw, run, do whatever we want to do. All we have to do is just each individual. When a play is called, everyone has a certain assignment. Do that assignment, you get results. There's no question that we're going to win, you know, and win soon. And, and uh, I, I, just, I just wonder once we get that first one, when it's going to stop, really. That's, that's my opinion. You can catch all the action from Sold Out Paul Brown Stadium Sunday, 1 o'clock, right here on Channel 12. Brad will have your radio call on Homer.